Camera's on, Jesse. Quick, Sound. say something. Say something quick. Hello. <laughs> Okay, so back on the bench with the SCX24, uh, Keith Jesse Pro Noob RC. Hit the subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell, ring you know it. the deal. <laughs> ring it! So today uh, we're working on upgrading the uh, SCX24, a uh, little deadbolt from Axial, good little crawler. Uh, we started having problems with the steering servo on the green one, as you know, we have two of them. Um, so we decided we're going to upgrade both of them. Uh, this one still works, the green one, the bed. Um, yeah, so let's get at it. Uh, tools you're gonna need. Uh, get the body off. 0 0.5 T6 Torx. That's to get the servo horn off. I, I see a lot of questions online about what size that is. Took a while. And uh, the servo we're gonna run is the Savix SH0 0257MG Metal Gear. Uh, here's a little unit here. Looks a little funny. I did clip the ears off of it because we're not using the ears to mount it in. It sits a little bit too far forward. We're just using shoe goo to mount it. We'll just go, in, we'll go into that later. Um, works totally fine. Done on full size rigs and it works great. So, start with knocking the body off. 0.5. Um, kind of a pain in the butt that did this because not everybody out there has a 0.5 in a toolbox. Luckily, I used to race lossy and they're all standard hardware versus everybody else uses metrics so well team associated too they use I think a mix garbage what <laughs> two screws in the back flip that open slide the bumper off the back boom done nothing to it easy cheesy This servo is still good, so we're not going to just crank it out. We'll hold it in place. Now, the uh, servo saver is uh, coming out. That's never going to work again for us. So, Put that to the side for right now. <clears throat> Carefully clip the zip tie. Not so careful. <laughs> These are just the lights and your steering servo. It's tagged out steering. Real simple. <coughs> Two screws on top. Remove the servo. Another added bonus of these uh, upgrading the servo is a little bit more added front weight for the rig. Some would argue that it's not really that great because it sits above your uh, COG center gravity line, but no. Look at a difference in size. They're pretty close. Oh, sorry, where are we at? Pretty close here. Um, obviously, the depth is different, but when I was looking at this, knowing that I'm not going to be using the servo horn or the uh, servo saver, uh, depth wasn't going to be an issue because all stacked up together, it's uh, going to be imagine right so it's gonna be the same length pretty much um so yeah clip the ears off so it fits in between the frame articulates a little bit better these guys work good in there but he's obviously a little bit skinnier quite a bit skinnier but that's fine though it still fits it still works so
Perfect. So you're going to want to clean out this and this with a uh, alcohol cleaning wipe. Um, You can drop the shocks to give yourself a little bit more uh, room to work in here, but you really don't need it. It's just a waste of time, and then you got to mess around the dry shaft. Uh, this is going to sit that side down, pitman to the driver's side. Well, servo horn, you know, pitman arm. Okay, put that aside, let that dry off. That removes all the oil. We're going to actually come back and hit that one more time. Um, the back corner of this tray, normally I would just cut out the back of the tray that holds in the servo and just move the servo back and screw it in. Problem here is Axial's molded the top of their three link into the back of the radio tray until we come up with a solution on moving that. This is just what we're doing right now. Uh, this is gonna work fine. Um, but uh, yeah, there's really not much you can do for a four link in this thing. I guess you could, but it wouldn't be triangulated property, properly. So yeah. But they probably paid people to figure it out. So we'll just uh, do our mod. <laughs> so anyway, you got to cut out this back little corner, little chunk right there of the box, so the wire on this side can pass through. Two ways to skin a cat. Body scissors always work great. Oop. Done and done. We'll just go in here and clean up this little burr. Perfect. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so as you know, Pro Noob, we don't like our straight cords like that. We like to wrap them, twist them up, and get them looking all pretty. And uh, they just look a lot better. You don't have to have that crappy zip tie on them. You kind of get the wire to go where you want, so. Simple enough, wrap it around here. Add a bit of heat, a little bit of pressure, a little cool holds its shape. If you don't like it, you can pull it out after. It goes back to being straight, but... Some people do this and then they even glue, uh, rub shoe goo down them and kind of lock it into that quail shape, so... So I always twist it, push it down together. Pull that in, pull that in, add some heat. Don't worry, I'm flame proof, so. So once it's warm again, you don't want to hold it by the servo, you want to hold it by the wire, not by the plug, you want to hold it by the wire. Wrap it up tight, squish it down. Ah. Nice and pretty. Okay, so now after all that messing around with it, we're going to clean it again one more time. This is important because when they build these, their hands are dirty and greasy, dealing with the solder flux and with the um, <coughs> little bit of dab of grease that they put on them, the cheap bastards. <laughs> you don't need to dry it with nothing. It's alcohol. It'll dry itself real quick. Shugu, the one, the only, the original. Don't buy a household goop. Don't buy that junk knockoff crap. It doesn't work tell you that right now it works but it takes forever to dry should goes dry before this video will be done filming so only need to the back bottom just a little bit that's way too much I was busy running my mouth and not paying attention but hey we got her and Shugu if you want to hit us up for a sponsor by all means yeah yeah somebody send us a Shugu <laughs> so we want to get that in there boom bingo bango boom sorry guys just get that in there i did it upside down so i had the wire kind of fall out of the way so it's not in my way now uh this truck just needs to sit we're just going to pause the video for a few minutes and we'll come back we'll show you how to line up your servo horn get it in set up your drive rate on these cheap radios so you can kind of use it as an endpoint adjustment and get this thing rolling kicking more butt I should have weighed the servo versus this one when it was out. Sorry about that, guys. Um, it weighs more. Where's the back here? 
right here. There we go. It weighs 14 grams, and this one weighs... Seven. <laughs> <laughs> we'll ask Cheech and Chong here. They know. Cheech knows. 5.9. That was close. <laughs> Jesse wins that one. Okay, so obviously, yeah, a little bit more weight up front, right? That's going to give you a bit more beef, uh, a little bit more uh, front weight. That's what we want these little guys without throwing, you know, crazy no lead weight. Uh, with that mod there, uh, we get full uh, frame clearance. Uh, we're going to let this dry. We'll get back into this in just a minute. Okay, so uh, glue is dry on the servo. Servo's installed now. Um, basically simple enough. Plug in the wire. Make sure that you have it routed in a way that is not bound on anything. There we go. Light wire is loose in there. <laughs> it's tough working on these little guys. Can't get your fingers in there to do anything. Sorry. Looking off camera. It's all trial and error sometimes. You just gotta go around and find the right spot. Here it is here. Find the servo up through this little window. That's running in there nice, it's not interfering. Get it there. Let's go ahead and coil right back up. So. Okay, so we got the wire run behind the servo, up through the little window in the frame, kind of between the box, lower than the body post, it's not in the way, it's not getting to feel a little shock, not much travel there, and then plug back in. Next step, you want to grab your radio, 
Pop your sweet little door open on it, flip it on. Um, channel one trim, you want to put that right at zero. Right on zero on the money. Um, if I remember correct, Sav Sav Savo servos are wired backwards than everybody else, so we'll have to reverse the drive channel on the little radio. You want to find your little screw. The little screw is your servo horn screw. Uh, we're going to go with this for said servo horn. Um, pretty sure they're standard size spline, so you could use an aluminum one. No, they definitely not. Um, you could use an aluminum one, but um, couldn't find one. So we're just going to go with the plastic one. It's a light duty truck. Clip off the excess. Ah! Oh, Jesse's dead. Block over there. I can never talk to it. You got cat hair on it. I don't know if that, that's gonna help that way. Cats are evil. It's definitely from my evil cat. Evil cat and evil. Bill. Hole's just a little bit too small to start. We're gonna go with the second hole up. I just take my razor blade, just give it a couple spins in there. Number 11 exacto blade. Run this in, you notice, backside. Second hole down, backside, make sure everything moves nice, sits nice. Uh, there's two holes to pick from on the truck. Uh, I go with the top hole. Two holes there. We're gonna go with the so top hole. Okay, so radio's on. She's sitting at zero. Truck's on, ready to go. No, well, truck's not on, ready to go. But the truck's ready to go. Uh, we'll plug it in. And we will apply power. So, cycle a few times. Make sure everything's happy, everything's working. Now, we're gonna blind ourselves, stare into the little LEDs, and put the servo horn on as we can. Then we're going to want to check the steering. Make sure right is right. Boom. It's not. Left is left. Just like I said, pretty sure Savo is. So one before you put the screw in, you're going to want to flip the switch. Make sure uh, it doesn't jump like it just did. They always do that whenever you reverse them. So pull it off. One spline back the other way. That's two. Well, the splines aren't close enough, that's why we got steering trim, so we'll throw a little bit of trim at it. And there we go, make sure we still have full function. 
server is not 100% dry, we are just kind of rushing this for uh, the video. You want to give that at least uh, 24 hours, well, you know, at least 12 hours. It's a good solid. You know, do it, go to school, come back, get to go. <laughs> People still go to school with this? Okay, it's been a while. Okay, there you go. That is your new upgraded. Nice, much faster, way more power, a little bit more extra weight up front, and uh, you will probably never have to touch that again. That's done. Clears the bumper, clears the servo mount, or the uh, sorry, the chassis brace for the. Uh, five and one or whatever they call those things, ESC combo. So yeah, there you go. There you have it. Um, enjoy.